Hello everyone. In this uh, second lecture of uh, this discrete random variable, we are having some problem which can be solved on the basis of uh, definition. Okay, so let us see what this problem says. A discrete random variable x has the following probability function. Uh, the random variable is having the values 0 to 7 and the corresponding probability is given to you. Okay, and together it represents a what probability function okay so we have to find out the value of k now as you can uh, see the in the problem itself it is given that the random variable is discrete if it is not given then you can see actually uh, the value x is taking the value 0 1 2 3 and so on so this should have uh, this should be a problem of discrete random variable okay but if it is given well and good so uh, what you can write here in the solution for for discrete random variable for discrete random variable we know that whenever you are writing we know that ask yourself what we know the very first thing is all the probabilities should be greater than or equal to zero and what is the second thing sum of the probabilities is equal to one okay sum of the probability is equal to one okay now you can solve one sum of the probability is equal to one by the definition so what are the probabilities we have this so just write down zero plus k plus two k plus two k plus three k plus k square plus two k square plus seven k square plus k okay so using the definition of this uh, probability function is uh, sum of all the probabilities equal to 1 so this comes out to be 1 okay now solve this so what is this 1k 2k let me uh, collect the k square first so 7k square 2k square 1k square so this is this is 10k square plus how many k's are there so k 1 2 3 5 8 8 and 1 9 plus 9 k is equal to 1 10 k square plus 9 k is equal to 1 you can take 1 to the left then you will be having a quadratic equation so come on try to find out its roots so what are the roots so the roots are 10 k minus 1 plus 1 10k minus 1 into 10k minus 1 and k plus 1 correct 10k minus 1 to k plus 1 equal to 0 you can make uh, you can make use of calculator to get this if you don't then you can do it from your side what are the factors of 10k square so factor of 10k square is uh, k square can be written as k into k and uh, uh, 10 can be written as 10 into 1 okay and factor of minus 1 can be written as 1 into 1 and we want plus 9 so here it is so 10k minus 1 and here k plus 1 so what are the values of k therefore 10k is equal to 1 and k is equal to minus 1 okay so as you know that from the definition itself the probability is always greater than or equal to 0 so it cannot be negative so we cannot consider this value instead we can consider the value of k to be 1 by 10 so what is the value of k that is k is equal to 0.1 okay so this is the value of k so this completes my first part now second third and four, second third part is very simple you can solve it easily so what is the second thing that you have to find out the second thing is uh, find out the probability of 1 less than equal to x less than 4 so we have to find out the probability of x is equal to 1 and and x equal to 2 x equal to 3 not x equal to 4 because it is less than 4 given so you can write it like probability of x equal to 1 probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 okay 
So what is probability of x is equal to 1? So you have a probability distribution given. So it is k. What is probability of x equal to 2? That is given to you as a 2k and probability of x equal to 3 is also 2k. So when you solve this, you will be getting 5k. So this comes out to be 5k and what is the value of k? k is 0 0.1. So what, what we are getting? We are getting it to be a uh, 5 into 0 0.1. So this comes out to be probability of 1 less than equal to x less than 4 is equal to 0 0.1. Five. Okay, now this is the second one. Now in just a minute you can find out the probability for the third one. So what is the probability for third? The probability for the third one is, uh, what is it? It is a probability of 2 less than equal to x less than equal to 5. So what does it mean? The random variable is taking the value 2 as well as 5. So, and all the values from 2 to 5. So, you can take probability of x is equal to 2 plus x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5. Okay, now you have the values given to you for this. So pro for probability of x equal to 2, you have 2k. Then for probability of uh, 3, uh, you are having 2k again. For 4, you have, in the given problem itself, it is given. So it is uh, 4k, 3k plus k square. Now substitute the values of uh, k to get, what is it? This is 7k plus k square. And what is the value of k? 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.1 square. And solve this to get the answer as 0 0.71. Okay. So this is 0 0.71. So this is the value for probability of 2 less than x less than equal to 5. And the last one, I think uh, if these three are clear to you, the fourth one you can find it on your own. So just pause the video and just uh, try to find out it and cross check with the answer that I am getting. So what is the fourth one? The fourth one is probability of x greater than 6. So probability of x greater than 6 means it is not equal to 6, greater than 6 means probability of x is equal to 7. So what is it? Probability for probability of x equal to 7, we are given uh, the value of it to be 7k square plus k. So you can substitute 7 into 0.1 square plus 0.1. So the value which comes out to be from here is 0.17. Okay. So this is the answer for the last one that we have to find out. So such simple problems will be asked in the examination sometimes. So uh, I hope this uh, lecture is making sense. So make most of it and uh, uh, try to solve problems based on it. For more problems, uh, you can uh, contact me. Okay, so problems will be given to you. The more problem you will solve, the more things you will get it easily okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you